Okay, so here's going to be a quick little educational video um, for those that uh, install uh, leveling spacers. Uh, let me zoom out a little. Leveling spacers, uh, level springs, coils, you know, whatever you do as far as creating lift on the front of the ZR2. Uh, a lot of people start complaining about knocking and such when they go, um, I believe about, let's say an inch and three quarters or higher. Um, you should probably do this no matter how much you level, but I'm going to show what could be a cause of the clunking noise that people experience. Um, this is just one of the things that could be causing that. So don't read up as this is the end all solution. So I've reinstalled my factory upper control arm um, just to kind of show a little demonstration. So let's say you've removed everything and you've put your new, whatever you do, your level spacer, your coil over, whatever you've done, You've installed it, and essentially you're pushing the lower control arm down to create the lift. And when you reattach your upper, this also goes down. The issue is, if you look at this, you only get this much movement because of the way the bushings are designed. Let me see if I can light them up. So the way the bushings are designed, there's little grip things. So when it's torqued, as you can see, you only get so much movement out of that bushing. So I've posted multiple times about when you do any type of level, coils, leveling springs, spacer, whichever you've done, you need to loosen your upper control arm bolts and reposition this so that basically where it's resting at now is your ride height. And then that way you get your down and your up. So if you do an excessive lift, let's say two inches, well now I'm at the max down. So now when I go down, my bushing is already tight and Basically, that clunking noise is you pretty much twisting those bushings and they'll eventually go out. And once they go out, you'll be chasing the clunk forever, thinking it's something else. But these are pretty much fried and you'll need a new upper control arm. Um, I don't know if I can make mine make the noise. But that's pretty much why I say... Loosen those, get this set. Um, it's a little difficult. Um, I haven't tried it with the factory shocks. Um, I run Kings, but I can actually fit a socket in there with a King installed. Um, I would assume you could do it with the DSSVs because they are actually smaller. But I don't know. I never tried it. I ended up doing new control arms. Uh, but you should be able to fit a socket in there. Uh, actually, let me show you. I just use a half inch with a, I believe it's 21 millimeter. Yeah, 21 millimeter. And if you feed it in like this and kind of feed it over... Um, don't have the upper part of the shock mounted and you should be able to slide well actually no you won't have you'll have the bolts threaded up kings don't have the the uh they don't have nuts they have bolts so you may have to play with it figure out where this needs to be and you might have to do it multiple times to get this right but if you do that that is going to Minimize the chances of you having any type of clunk. 
And if you do, it will likely not be because of the upper bushings and maybe something such as improper torque down at your lower mounts, a sway bar bushing, something else. But I'm willing to bet most people their clunk is probably because they did not reset this when they re-leveled or when they leveled the truck or raised the front with coilovers or whichever. So quick video kind of explaining it, kind of showing, you know, what the issue is. Um, I hope this informs some people and uh, if it does, I hope I helped you out. All right.